try to mirror exactly what we're going to do. So we're going to step it up one more level than what we did with those guys. We're going to go up quick. We're going to move fast. I want you responsive. I want you flying around. That means running, sprinting, getting loose balls. Who don't have a basketball? You the only one? Okay, great. So we want to be on the baseline court. Let's get them set Let's up. We want four groups on Let's the get. baseline right now. Four groups, four lines. I want my Let's best go. ball handlers up front. I want my best ball handlers up front. Yep, we good. Okay. So now let's check base. So I want everybody looking at your base. Balance my balance me out. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. Yep, perfect. Your base look like that. How you doing? That's my best player right there. I already know she can beat y'all. Okay, look, good base wide. On our base wide, our cadence. Cadence is feet, hands, rhythm, bounce. So I want to take a pound dribble. One, two, one, two. One, two, one, two, pound. One, two, one, two. Look at my base. Look at my shiftiness. I'm not here, nor am I dribbling here. I can't pick up to my shot from here. I can pick up my shot here. Boom, here, one, two, one. Each one of those, I can pick it up. Boom, one, two, one. I can pick up into my shot. So we're gonna go quickly. Once the first group go, and you pass the free throw line. Coach Corey, I want you in the middle because I want you to be able to keep them going. Once we get to the free throw line, the next group will go. Try to stay in your base the whole time. So it'll start here. Pound. One, two. One, two. Pound. One, two. One, two. Pound. One, two. One, two. Right there. Okay? If you're good, get to the front. Base. Let's go. Here we go. Base. questions on that let me see your basketball so now we're gonna add two hard chains on that so if I'm looking at Corey I'm just mirroring what Corey's doing okay so we're gonna mirror we're gonna go pound one two break down go 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 okay you see it then it should be opposite side so stay with me pound opposite side let's go with me I can slow it down, but I want to have my eyes up and I want you paying attention to the guy or the lady that's in front of you. So we'll partner up. Who are you partner with? Okay, perfect. Your partner here? Do I have balance? Good. Who, your partner there? With her? Your partner with her? Yep. Pause, pause. Push. One more time. Good job. Break down. Push. Pause there. Oh, you went there? Boom. Now you step, pick up, and go. Pickups. You guys know what a pickup is? Anybody, raise your hand. The pickup is the most important piece of playing basketball. The ability to pick the ball up from the ground into your shot. A lot of guys, and as you guys go through it, I want to point out and illustrate that a lot of you guys have low pickup points. So your pickups are here. Let me see the ball. So a lot of times you're making a move, and we're going to pick it up. You're picking it up here versus the ball here. Boom. See how quick I pick the ball up? So now I'm able to pick it up and I'm able to get into my shot. So we want to focus on the pickup and the shot. Footwork, balance, power. So the first thing we're going to teach you is what we call an L step. It's really a side step, and we're going to start with balance and base. So we're going to have each group, we'll divide you up. we got six baskets, 
Each basket will be focusing on the same thing. It's gonna require you to pay attention. So now we're gonna start with Corey here. We're gonna build it back. We'll start with the first line here. Corey's gonna be offset. Okay, get to your base, Corey. So he's gonna take a dribble with the ball outside of his body and then his footwork. So in his footwork, he's gonna step. He's gonna go dribble, step, back to his base. Dribble, step, pick up. So on the pick up, the ball has to be up. Step, up, boom, right into my shot. Ready, Corey? Pick it up. Right there. Do it again. This is an L step. Right there. So you notice he never dropped a ball below his waist or hands. If you're watching guys in the NBA, WNBA, what makes them really good is the ability to go from a handle into the shot. What makes Steph so good? Not because he got a quick release. He can just pick the ball up. Quick. Boom. Now he's into his shot. So I want to teach you that because it'll really help you right now in the middle of your season, okay? So we're gonna go other side court, left, okay? Outside dribble, right? Yeah, outside, step. If you notice, we went from base to base. Let's step really tight base. This is what we don't want, step tight. That's what a lot of you guys would look like, right away. Right, y'all balance, you're gonna go, and now you're shooting the ball off balance. Well, shooting the ball off balance is taught. I teach it. I teach it every day. We teach it every day. How to catch it, shoot it, step, fade off. But those guys master the first part of the bricks of the house. Does that make sense? So our first step will be L steps. Any questions on that? Okay, our second steps are gonna be I steps. On the I step, I wanna use right hand, Step back, left foot. Everything is about balance and pickups. So I'm in a good stance. When I dribble, I want to step back. If you notice, when I step back, my heels never touch the ground. Pow, step. Now I'm into my shot. I got a good enough power. We rotate, you'll step around them. From the side, we'll step down, next person ready to go. Left hand dribble, right foot go back. Pow, right foot. Now I'm going into my shot, making sure that I'm balanced. Okay, any questions on that? Questions? So everybody got, got the eye step, right? So now we're gonna work what we call a quick turn. Okay, this is footwork activation. I'm gonna dribble and I'm gonna activate my feet to go here as I'm working on my pickup. So if, when I'm here, watch what I do with my hand here. Freeze, freeze, boom. Did you see how quick I picked it up? I could be coming down and coach could say, play. Bop, right there, his hands was down. Her hands are down. You can get into your shot quick. Pick up, activate, up, pick, right up to your shot. Same thing, ball outside, activate, turn. Turn my hips, his feet. You got that footwork into your shot. Boom, turn, boom, right into my shot. So that, those are the three we'll start with, okay? Corey, let's help divide them up. Yep. How many we have? about footwork and balance, okay? I'm here, I'm lined up. There's gonna be a line behind me. I'm gonna go in and out, step, push, one, two. We've been picking it up, right? So what's the difference of that footwork and the footwork we just started with with activation? Do anybody know the difference? The footwork we just started with was what we call activation footwork. It was a lot of lateral, a lot of stepping back, a lot of separation. This is downhill. So I gotta be able to keep my balance 
down, heel, one, two. Keep my balance here, step, step, right to it. So our first dribble is gonna look like that, in and out, between the legs, left, right. Once I say switch, we'll start it with our right hand. We'll go in and out, cross, right, left. The big thing is starting what we just did with your foundation of getting your base together. Any question on that? The most important dribble is your last dribble. So watch my last dribble. I'm going in, out, cross. What did I do? I pound the ball. Boom! Now, instead of me picking it up and coming from here up, I took four seconds off of my shot. Now I'm right into my shot. Okay, we're gonna go back to our groups and we're gonna to continue to build our series of right, left, and left, right. Any questions? Let's hustle back, let's go. I can get downhill on that defender. If I can get downhill and turn his hips, I won the battle now. It comes, it comes to body to body contact on the move. So as I come here, and it out chains, I want to be able to get here in this jack. See that? See that space. So get tight. Don't be so wide. Here you go. Don't be so wide. Let's see it. Be tight. Be tight. Don't pop up. Drop. Better. Way better. All right. So the second part of that, I want to go I step. L step, I step, L step. So I want to drive one, two. I step, pick it up, L step. Okay, watch, two dribbles. One, two, step. One, two, boom, boom. So now if I was going full speed, Corey, come here real quick. So if Corey's guarding me, my job is always to get to the basket. So when I'm going right, when I beat Corey, look where Corey's going. So if I got footwork, I'm under control. I don't have to fight him. I can get my shot off. So I step, L step. One, two, boom, boom. Now I got my space that I need to get the shot off. If Corey was quick, I was sidestepping, boom, and now I'm by him. So everything you do is called shadow boxing. It's a read. Pace, read. Thank you. 
we'll, we'll do, a, we'll do a more of a, a, a super competitive camp. See, the higher your skill level, the more you can compete. The, the lower your skill level, the lower you can compete because you're not, you're not able to do what you want to do. So you actually have to spend time on your craft. This goes to anything that you do in life. Put everything that you got into it. If you want to be an architect, put everything into it. You got everything that's in your generation right now. NFTs, you have all these different technology advancements. It's the same in sports. Sports teach you about character and it teach your competitive nature. Be competitive because the world that you're in is gonna be super competitive. One day, like real soon, most of you guys will be on your way. So you have to learn how to compete. You gotta learn how to give your best and you gotta hold yourself accountable. So self-discipline is everything. If you wanna be great and you wanna be successful, self-discipline yourself. Set your own alarm clock. Get out of bed, make your bed, clean up behind yourself, do your homework. Like people shouldn't have to check on you. Every day I work with clients and I'll tell you, my clients average income, 30 million, 40 million a year. And that's only on the court, right? So what's the difference? between people is only 1%. Somebody focused and gave up something to get what they really wanted. So whatever you really want, give up something and sacrifice it. You don't have to wait until you're 17, 18. You sacrifice now and learn how to go start to finish. So if I can leave you with anything, anything's accomplishable, anything in life that you wanna do, sports will take you there and will teach you how to compete in other markets. Any questions? This was fun tonight. Let's clap it up. Thank you. Everybody, a big thank you to Coach Chris, Coach thank Corey, you. Kay, and Coach Kyle for being here with you guys. So make sure you guys say thank you to them. We're really blessed to have them down here for you guys. And they'll be posting some things to you guys, like really good stuff on our Instagram. So it's easy to find. It's just who? Uh, Instagram is just dot who? And then my Instagram. It's easy, it's just my name, Chris Johnson Hoops. And you'll see you guys, some of you guys will go up there with all my NBA guys and they'll put the footage up so then you go on and then you can make yourself available and those guys will find you on there. Okay, and then my TikTok guy, where he at? <laughs> Y'all follow him on TikTok? Yeah. Is he good? No, no. Corey, not. Corey, follow his TikTok. <laughs> follow his TikTok, Corey. So we're gonna follow your TikTok. Yeah. Is TikTok back? Just, just watch it. Let's go watch it. Yeah. Corey, Corey's gonna pull it up for me. So we got TikTok too. It's my name too. It's Chris Johnson Hoops. So if you go on there and our YouTube channel is crazy. We do like 53 million views a month. It's Chris Johnson Hoops. So if you go look, you want to see who I work with, all you just type in my name and you'll be like, oh, okay. Then you'll know. So the same thing that we gave them is the same thing we give you. There's no difference in the information. It's the difference is, is the person that receives it. Cool. Y'all get out of here. Go watch Spider-Man. Guys, hands in. Tomorrow. Hands in. Tomorrow. Kings on three. One, two, three. Kings. Kings. Yeah, guys. Thank you. Thank you so much. All right, guys. Thank you guys for tuning in today. Chris Johnson Hoop. I got my partner, Matt Shorter here. Just Hoop San Clemente. If you guys are down in the area, you got to come see them. You know if you're in L.A., you got to come see me. Today's camp was amazing. The kids were great. We were able to have a lot of fun and teach a lot of fundamentals. Remember, at the end of the day, no matter where you are, just move.